Hey there, Universes. Welcome to Enhanced, the series in which we kick off the reveal season for an upcoming release by taking an enhanced look at it. Our release on the table today is none other than the upcoming booster series, Yu Yu Hakusho Dark Tournament. Previously, in first form, we got our initial look at this set, depicting one of the most exciting tournament arcs in all of anime, and how it's going to be shaking up universes with tons of new fighters, cards, and rarities galore. But now, it's time to enhance our vision of this incredibly unique set and strap in, because we've got a lot of ground to cover. Now, we're no strangers to booster series around here, but Dark Tournament is a very unique product in a myriad of ways. Right from the get-go, even the way you obtain this special booster series is different. Yu Yu Hakusho Dark Tournament will be obtainable only at your local game stores and also sport an exclusive release event in which victors will gain entry into our webcam wish tournament. Check out the video on our channel for even more details on that. Point being, you have to hit up your local game store if you want to get your hands on this one-of-a-kind release. Dark Tournament is also a super-sized set. Patch for this set contain 12 cards rather than 11, so there's a little something extra for you in every booster. Now once we start talking contents, one of the most standout things about Dark Tournament is that it drops a sort of new card type in our time-shifted reprints. These 35 time-shifted reprints will bring back cards from the very first Yu Yu Hakusho set into the Dark Tournament and they're receiving quite the visual upgrade. You'll be seeing these in our new card design for the very first time, not to mention, we'll even be changing up the art on some of them. This also means the return of older mechanics coming into the new era of Universus for the first time. We'll see cards sporting things like the lack of a block modifier and the desperation keyword as well as references to it inside of our modern standard format. It's also 35 chances for your favorite old Yu Yu Hakusho cards to come back into the game for a second time for you to enjoy once more. We've got so many slots left. What card are you looking forward to seeing come back the most here? Now, time shifted reprints are one thing, but this set also possesses a whole new rarity in retro reprints. Much like their time shifted friends, these are also cards reprinted from the original Yu Yu Hakusho set, but they function much differently. If their wholly distinct and unique look didn't key you in, retro reprints maintain their original Yu Yu Hakusho set watermark. This means that they'll only be legal for play in formats containing the original Yu Yu Hakusho set. These are truly for both our retro and our spotlight players. These cards are powerhouses from the previous era of the game, while that we aren't quite prepared to bring into our modern formats, they have a strong place in our others. Not to mention, the visual upgrade on these is stunning. Hyper-stylized backgrounds, oversized fonts, and the retro Japanese show logo adorn these cards for a truly nostalgic look and feel. There are four of these in total. What do you think the remaining two will be? What cards are most deserving of their coveted retro reprint slots? You'll be finding approximately one of these per box inside Dark Tournament. So. Happy hunting, old heads. And now while these aren't going to be new changes with this set, you could absolutely bet on seeing secret rares and chrome rares returning with Dark Tournament. We've already seen Genkai flexing her teaching skills and Yusuke's chrome headshot looking better than ever. But keep your eyes peeled during reveal season to see even more of these card types. Who do you hope makes the chrome cut? Now we've talked a lot about enhancing our look at this set, so let's really talk optics for a bit. Dark Tournament is bringing some great visual upgrades to Universus inside of it. We've got some nice subtle changes to the card design here to really make this set feel unique inside the world of Yu Yu Hakusho. If you take a look at our text boxes, you'll notice distinct patterns across our different rarities. Our commons will contain a simple and minimalistic line work pattern throughout their boxes. Meanwhile, our uncommons will sport this very retro looking grid pattern, reminiscent of the Dark Tournament stage itself. Lastly, our rare and above cards will feature this beautiful swirl of spirit energy painting their text box. Now, if you also peer over to the difficulty and the check numbers, you'll see that those have also been shaped a little differently this time around in order to give them even more of an old 90s feel. These changes all come together to give Yu Yu Hakusho's second foray into our game a look and energy that keeps it feeling unique as well as refreshing and nostalgic at the same time. Now, let's talk some higher rarities. 
When it comes to XRs, the only ones you're gonna find inside the set are our character XRs, as well as our kanji filled borderless XR variants of our secret rares in XSRs. However, Dark Tournament will lead the charge when it comes to bringing alternate arts into our mainline booster sets. Six cards throughout this set will feature breathtaking alternate arts that change the card in exciting and dynamic ways. Urameshi and his team have all eyes on them in this gruesome tournament and in this alternate art, and Keiko's will and spirit pushing them on to succeed has never looked better than in this ethereal golden background. I definitely can't wait to see what the foil on that one looks like, and I cannot wait for you all to see what the rest of these look like. Now, the Dark Tournament is one of the most cherished and iconic tournament arcs in anime history. But being a tournament arc, the fights are what it's all about here. Team Urameshi faces constant danger and challenge after challenge trying to survive this ordeal. Representing those moments faithfully is the standout mission of Dark Tournament as a booster series. Card after card throughout this set highlight intense battles, thrilling action, and life or death moments non-stop. From the intense buildup all the way to Yusuke's final battle against Tagoru, or any of the other very unique challenges he faces along the way, you better believe we'll capture many of those moments through a mixture of gorgeous artwork and flavorful abilities. Another major factor about the Dark Tournament is, it's a team tournament. Team Urameshi consists of our signature gang of heroes, while Team Tagoru lie in terrifying wait at the very end for them. Historically, Universes has featured cards referencing specific teams, so naturally this was the perfect time to bring back that design space. You'll notice that not only do these cards feature our teams lined up and ready to fight, but they also all carry an ability only playable by characters possessing that team's trait. Being able to utilize your team's card is yet another bonus of selecting a character from that team. Urameshi and Tagoru are our standout too, of course, but the Dark Tournament features so many unique and interesting teams working together, and this booster set immortalizes that too. Who knows what other teams might be lying in wait. Now, while the teams themselves are the key players of the tournament, this arc features many iconic characters that don't necessarily have fighting roles. We've gotten a taste of that scene Keiko and her support already, but the Dark Tournament is rich with characters both helping and harming our heroes from the sidelines. Want to call in Jury to come referee some attacks back in line? Or maybe you'd like to orchestrate Sakio's elaborate gambles from the shadows. Either way, this set has you covered. Despite not throwing down, the signature side characters of this arc are making stellar appearances throughout Dark Tournament to make sure no moment goes uncaptured. Now time shifted and retro reprints aside, even the new cards in Dark Tournament are looking to honor our heritage a bit. We can see design aspects of older cards debuting in some of the new cards as well. You might find cards in this set that ask you to check a number as a cost for an ability, bringing back a design space that Universes has not seen for some time. And while they might not have made it all the way into a time-shifted reprint, you'll find some abilities or themes brought back from the previous set in some clever ways that pay a nice homage to their previous iterations. That was a lot of news, but now let's look to the future a little and see when you can expect to find more of Yu Yu Hakusho Dark Tournament. With this enhanced video coming to a close, that means we're right on to reveal season now. Starting tomorrow on January 23rd, look forward to eight straight days of reveals as two of our content creators each show us a full character and kit exclusively on their channels. Then we'll see you all at the HLC. You can look forward to getting your first glimpse at the remaining secret rares, alternate rares, and chrome rares over the weekend. Finally, February 5th through 9th will be Retro Week. Stay tuned to our social channels all week to see the rest of the time-shifted reprints, as well as our February 7th WWW pre-show to feast your eyes on the last two retro reprints. After we finish reveals, you'll be able to start watching our very own content creators crack open Dark Tournament boxes on their own channels one week before release. Finally, February 23rd will mark the day the Dark Tournament hits game store shelves as well as the beginning of the release events. You don't need a pre-built deck to play in these release events, and they'll also reward you with beautiful promo cards and a playmat if you come out on top. The action doesn't stop there though, because the winners of these release events will also receive invitations into our online Wish Tournament. Taking place on March 9th and 10th, a real-life Dark Tournament in of itself. 
The best players in these will be competing it out for not only Chrome Rares, but also their very own wish to make at the end. Fitting of its iconic place in anime history, Dark Tournament's Universes Booster Series is as standout as they come and a completely unique experience that puts you right into the world of Yu Yu Hakusho and its legendary fights. If you still haven't signed up, make sure you talk to your LGS about making sure you get to be in on the action. We look forward to seeing you brawling it out in the streets, in the Dark Tournament arena, and especially at your local game store. That's all the time I've got for today, but thanks for watching. and. Stay tuned for all the exciting card reveals in the coming days. We are so excited to show you more of this incredibly special booster series. But until then, stay classy, Spirit Detectives.